What's going on guys? Welcome to another episode of Smash JT. Do those leaked Microsoft documents expose a game plan threatening the future of the entire console gaming industry? I think so! It's a really bad look for Microsoft right now with the documents that leaked out the other day talking about all their plans for what seems like almost the next decade and how they were trying to devour every single company in their path up to and including Nintendo only to leave the console industry by 2027 if Game Pass doesn't work out for them. And then what? We got a big problem here. New to the channel, hit that subscribe button, give me a like, and check out SmashJT.com. I'll put a link for this article in the description below. But for today's video, we're going to talk about those leaked documents and some tweets from Phil Spencer exposing the reality of what Microsoft was trying to do. And it ain't pretty. With major corporations like Microsoft spearheading acquisitions, mergers, and partnerships, all the way up to the Activision Blizzard situation that is still in the courts right now, wondering if it's a monopoly, if this is a problem, and a lot of people on Microsoft's side are just trying to usher this thing through and try not to ask too many questions because it's really not a bad thing. But what happens if they do this to another company? And another company? And another company? I don't think people realize just how much money Microsoft has. At the forefront of this evolution is Microsoft, with its aggressive strategy of acquiring numerous game companies over the past five years. While many have welcomed these mergers as beneficial for gamers, there's a growing concern among the community. Is Microsoft's master plan to dismantle the console video game industry as we know it? Wow, doomsday stuff right there. I know I kind of sometimes, okay, always go to the extreme when I can, but here's one of those situations where I truly have concerns about what Microsoft's intentions with all of this actually were. The recent leaked documents revealed Microsoft's internal discussions and strategies. They sparked debate among gamers and industry experts together. One of the most concerning revelations came from Phil Spencer, who stated that if Microsoft doesn't see sufficient number of Game Pass users by 2027, they might exit the console industry altogether. This, when combined with their acquisition spree, paints a potentially worrying picture that I don't think enough people are concerned about right now. I feel like everyone is just kind of floating through, say la vie, what will be, what will be, you know, what will happen happens. It's not our concern. It's not our problem. Microsoft's going to buy companies and the gaming industry is always going to be here. But play along with me. What happens if Microsoft just buys everything and everyone available to them? Yeah, they're probably not going to buy Nintendo. Let's be honest. They get laughed out of the room every time they try. But the point is they're trying. And they haven't given up in 20 years. They're like a lion on the, on the side of the video game industry, just waiting to pounce on any companies that start going through troubled times, that start losing too much money. Guess who's going to be there to swoop them up and take them in when times are dire, but they have IPs that are valuable. Microsoft. And they're going to do it again in 20 years to Nintendo. And 20 years after that. And 20 years after that. And eventually, at some point, they're going to find a way in. And that should concern everybody. And one of the more telling things from the leak providing some insight to their plans comes from this message. I do not believe that that is what the future Xbox business would look like. This is a presentation from our devices organization to the gaming leadership team. So this is the view from the team that is chartered with building our hardware on what the future business would look like. I can fairly safely say that if we do not make more progress than this off of console, we would exit the gaming business. If this were the outcome, we would, I don't believe we'd still be in the business. A majority of our customers are found off of our own hardware. I would hope by earlier than 2030. So when you asked me if I agreed with this chart, that the light green and blue, depending on what colors you see, they would have to be much larger, much earlier. I would say by fiscal year 26, 27, that we should be in that position, or we'd have to make a different decision with the business. Meaning that Microsoft themselves have admitted accidentally that they are going to exit the gaming business altogether if they don't make the numbers that they expect to make. So what happens if, just follow me here, they buy all these companies up, everything is great, everything's going well, governmental organizations allowing Microsoft to acquire Activision Blizzard on top of just buying Bethesda through ZeniMax Media, which is a 
huge purchase. What's next? This is like blazing a path, destroying every major game company in their path, coming to a sole entity of Microsoft. And then if there's a downturn in gaming, they crash the industry. They leave, they take everything with them. They stop making games. All these companies just kind of fizzle out and die. That should be a major concern for every gamer out there. I don't care if you're an Xbox fanboy or the biggest hater in the world, you should have the same concern. Microsoft owns a lion's share of the game company companies and then makes a move away from consoles, they could effectively direct millions of gamers to migrate to Windows PC gaming. And while PC gaming is undoubtedly popular and definitely has its merits, it shouldn't be the only option available. Gamers should have a choice based on their preference and not be funneled into one platform due to corporate strategies. And this is one of those where you should be very grateful that Nintendo has the money they have with the IPs that they've created because they aren't selling to Microsoft anytime soon to the point where they keep laughing them out of the room. But what happens if they didn't? That's the concern. Phil Spencer was quoted as saying that that would be one of the the pinnacle moments of his career if he was able to buy Nintendo. How scary is that? What kind of mental lunatic looks at buying Nintendo as a good thing? It's not just that. The shift to digital, everything Microsoft is trying to do right now to get away from physical games with the leak of the latest Xbox Series X Brooklyn that is an all digital two terabyte $500 console that is trying to migrate more physical gamers away from physical games, creating more digital media, which by the way, ownership rights. Digital games don't provide the same sense of ownership as physical games. Gamers can't lend, sell, or trade digital games, leading to a potential monopolistic pricing strategy. If there's only one way you can get the game and only one store that sells it and it's only online and they own the rights to it and they just let you play it, they can set whatever price they want and you can't go anywhere else. There's no competition and we all know that's not a good thing. But not only that, what about sharing games with your friends? Just like the old days. Hey, I bought this game. I just beat Halo Infinite. I'll give you the disc. You can play it now too because we can't afford all these brand new games that they keep coming out with, not to mention how long they are and how much time they take, but you buy the game and you get your money's worth out of it. And if you don't, you can sell it back. You can trade it in. You can buy the newest game with the old game you bought. You can't do that with digital media. That's a problem. Preservation. Gaming history can be lost. This is something that I do have concerns about, but I feel like preservation is a little bit overblown, but it is something definitely that you need to be concerned about. And you can find pretty much every game ever made somewhere on the internet still, but there is a concern with physical media and preservation that is lost if all the control goes to the company selling it. And the economic impact, like I talked about in the used game market, from local game stores to larger chains, Walmarts to Targets to GameStops to even your local mom and pop shop, all of that is gonna be completely wiped out if they can't sell physical games. And I know I'm really animated, but that's because I'm passionate and I'm frustrated that there's a lot of people that don't see what Microsoft was trying to do that I am exposing right now to you. And it is a scary future if Microsoft was allowed to proceed with the actions that they were preparing for. Take for example, the monopolization of game production. If Microsoft owned all the game companies, the diversity in game creation would seriously dwindle. PC-centric gaming, with the potential shift away from consoles, many may be forced to adopt PC gaming, even if it's not their preferred platform. Which, by the way, people might be wondering, is like, why would Microsoft care where they game? Why would they want to be pushing people towards PC? And I'd say, guess what pretty much every PC uses? Windows. Guess what Microsoft owns? Guess what they want to sell more of? It makes sense for Microsoft to try to buy all these companies. Think from a very evil genius mastermind perspective. Buy all these companies up, completely destroy the console game industry as we know it, and then leave it in the dust. Nothing but shambles there. And then force everyone to say, oh, well, I want to play the latest game and the only place I can play it, I guess, is on PC. And I, ha I guess I have a PC at my house. I can just play it on that. 
oh, the specs aren't up to date. Oh, this, that, the other thing. I need to buy a new PC, a new license for Windows and start the whole process all over again. It's not as crazy as you think. The real issue is that Microsoft's acquisitions may be business as usual in the corporate world, but the ramifications for the gaming industry are profound. It's essential for regulatory bodies and the gaming community to be vigilant ensuring the future of gaming remains diverse, inclusive, and most importantly, player-centric, with physical gaming still being a part of the industry. And it's something that I'm glad, again, that Nintendo is there. It's all but assured that the Nintendo Switch 2 will have a physical cartridge slot on it, most likely as well be backwards compatible, hopefully, but at least Nintendo still sees value and embraces physical gaming. PlayStation and Xbox, they've been trying their best to migrate away because they know the money is made when you can sell a digital game for the same price as its physical counterpart, where you don't have to pay for the physical product, the, the logistics, the shipping, giving a slice to Walmart or GameStop, no, Everything is in-house and they make 100% of the profit from selling the game themselves digitally. And oh, by the way, you can't sell it, you can't trade it, you can't do anything with it. You just have to keep consuming. Not to mention, Phil Spencer recently tweeted, We've seen the conversation around old emails and documents. It is hard to see our team's work shared in this way because so much has changed. And there's so much to be excited about right now and in the future. We will share the real plan when we are ready. Sure, so Phil, let me get this straight. Your plan of completely destroying the entire video game consoleized industry as we know it was just a big misunderstanding. And that's not what you really meant by all these documents getting out proving that. You guys have changed a lot since then, but none of that's been documented. It's just, we'll take your word for it. Ah, I got a bridge to sell you. Those are my thoughts on this situation with Microsoft. It's a terrible look for Microsoft, for Xbox, for Phil Spencer, for everyone involved in the situation. It ain't good. It's bad, real bad. Almost as bad as the abbreviation for the Brooklyn All Digital. Funny how that works. I'm gonna leave it there. Thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, you stay smashing. Smash, 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 smash.